What's good, y'all? You dub back here again here in 2019. Let's get it. Bring y'all more new, fresh content. Like I said, in the past, love me some video games as well. Not as active as it once was. Barely actually really play because time and life and it is what it is. But I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I forgot about doing this. I'm like, damn, I, I did not get around to doing that one. And you see the title. The top 10 most disappointing video games. There may be, some, for some of y'all, some surprise on this list. Some of y'all, y'all should not be surprised by this. Because some of these games... God help us all. God help us all with these games, bro. The further on down the list, the more aggravating these games were. Especially when these some of these games had mad potential. And you just let down. The, the amount of let down is, is toxically. Like the Dark Knight Rises and the Iron Man 2... If I ever talk about the level of letdown of those, you just, uh, I don't know if any of the, well, no, there's a couple of games that get to that level of, uh, what the, uh, but without further ado, let us begin. Coming in at number 10, GTA 5, PS3 version. Now, homie Deshaun, shout out to Deshaun R. Smith. The thing is, I remember talking with him about this, and he said, you know, he, he disagreed with me mightily about my perspective on GTA 5. Now, understand, I'm talking about the, G the PS3 release, because apparently they fixed shit with the PS4. Thank you. I'm so glad that they fixed that, all right? I'm so glad. But let me tell you, I was so turned off. Now, understand, I am a fan, a fan, a fan of the GTA console franchise, all right? I ain't played like the side stories, but I played three, played Vice City, played GTA uh, San Andreas, played Dog on Four, Five. They did stuff like I had been for years asking for uh, like two, you know, uh, either two protagonists or like two main characters. They gave us three. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Uh, you know, it'd be cool if they give us a female lead. You know, just saying. Um, we've had a lot of great male leads. Can can we get a female lead? I'm just saying. I would I would really enjoy that. Um, you know, I had adjusted over the years, uh, just for some ways, the driving mechanics were better and worse, and the same thing with the shooting mechanics, but I had changed from San Andreas, and then decided to change again to this, this casual mess, and people were like, well, you can just change the thing, to no, 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 the targeting system, I want the targeting system, I just want a challenge, and I want it to be balanced, it was not balanced, it was dictating where I was supposed to shoot. No, no, no. That is not what I want. That is not for any of the other GTA games. That is not what I got. All right. You had control, even with the targeting system. Okay. They changed that. They changed the driving mechanics so drastically. I'm like, what are you doing? No. You just taught me how to drive in your old other game. I was like, okay, okay. GTA 4 took a little bit to get used to, but I'm like, all right, all right. Then now you're making me learn how to drive in a completely different way. Why are you doing this mess to me? Why are you doing this to long-time fans? Just to get the casual. And that was the problem. They were going for the casuals in that game. It was obvious. Now they did bring it back to San Andreas, which is what I wanted. Which is what I desired. Is it? But I was so turned off from the initial issues in the game. I'm like, nah, bro. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That game was just mad disappointment as, as a GTA fan who wanted a lot of those elements for years, son. They were doing bank robberies and stuff. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Online play improvements and everything. And I'm like, why did you do this? And I usually go more, in, more hardcore on that. But, you know, this is not the video for that. Coming in at number nine, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, my goodness. The Super Smash Bros. fandom was so up in arms over this game. Issues with Meta Knight being broken ass characters. It, issues with like, bro, it just did not bring the fire that Melee brought. All right, Melee, Melee brought so much. One of easily one of the greatest games of all time. And even if you go back to the N64 Super Smash Bros., a classic game. Then we get to Brawl, and it just, so many one of the fans, it made you not want to play it. Like, they outraged that so many Super Smash Bros. And normally, I'm not affected by that kind of stuff. But, dude, why is it that people go back and play Melee in 64, but don't want to play Brawl? That's when you know the game is disappointing. When folks are like, nah, fam, we're going to play games like two decades ago. We're going to play a game from like 15 years ago. 
10, 15 years ago, but we're not going to play this more recent one. So they had to be so careful about making that new old Super Smash Bros. They had to be so careful after the backlash that they got from Brawl. But we moving on. Coming in at number eight, Midnight Club. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the original Midnight Club. After playing the greatness that was Midnight Club to one of the easily greatest games of all time, arguably the greatest racing game of all time, you go back and play the original Midnight Club, you're like, how the f I'm so glad they they, came, they had the balls to come out with a uh, sequel. Because this, this shit right here, this was trash. This was straight booty, bro. The racing mechanics, the, the, the feel of the game ain't there. It just... Like, bro, even three just it blows it away. You just sitting here going like, bro, Test Drive 6 was better than this trash of Midnight Club 2. Oh, Need for Speeds were better than this trash. Bro, you just sitting here like ATV, the original ATV offer was racing was better than this trash of Midnight Club. It was garbage. It was terrible. It's not the worst racing game I've ever played, but it was the car, it, there was no, there was no style, like you saw in the later Midnight Clubs, there was no, you know, no real control, it just was not the fun street racing aspect, it was just riding around in cars and racing, that's not Midnight Club, Midnight Club, what it evolved into was its own genre, right, it wasn't this generic cookie cutter thing, man, like, you got Gran Turismo, you got NASCAR, you got, dog on uh, Need for Speed, and you got, you got, you got Test Drive, you got, you know, Midnight Club. It carved out its own niche, and it got fans. But you go back and play that original one, thing is terrible. It's terrible, man, even compared to its contemporaries, but we're moving on. Number seven, Skate. Now I'm talking about the original skate, mad overrated by hardcore skaters, a lot of fans of the, you know, the subculture. The thing is, I grew up with a lot of skaters, and you had dudes like, yeah, we can do actual real moves. Listen, bro, there's a reason why Tony Hawk Underground, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Tony Hawk Proving Grounds, one of the greatest, most underrated games of all time, by the way, these games sold. Skate, the original one was not a good skating game. You can say, if you want the technical aspect, Proven Grounds, yes, it did a little extra, but you had the control of it. You, you, you had more control of actual skating, right? If you wanted that. American Wasteland, like, skate was like American Wasteland, just like, mm, throw this out. Only, again, only like people who were mad about skating, like who were, who were seriously in a culture were like, yeah, skate. Skate, it was not a good game, bro. It was not fun. It was too hard to do a damn 540. It was too hard to do basic skating tricks, bro. Why am I having such a hard time to do basic grinds, bro? To get basic pop, to do a basic off the vert. Like, why is this so difficult? It was not fun, bro. It was not fun for me. And I rock with skating heavy. But it took the fun out of the game when you try to make this overly realistic. Like, come on, dog. No. If I want to do that, I'm, I'm, I, I, I rarely talk like this. But if I want the really difficult, I'm going to go out on a skateboard and ride. See what I'm saying? I ain't going to play a game where you make it so damn difficult. No. It's trash, bro. Disappointments. Just utter disappointments. Moving up to number six. Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Here's why this was so disappointing. All right? Oni. You had fucking Oni. And you nerfed him. Don't tell me it ain't. Because I remember fighting in fucking okay, Game Works. Right? I'm fighting in Game Works with Oni versus a dude who has Ryu. And I'm losing. How the hell do you lose with Oni versus a baseline Ryu? How? How do I lose the king? How is it so difficult to pull off the special techniques of some of these cats, bro? Or then, this is like the, the mechanics are broken. So you had like the wrestler dude, right? The luchador. Dude, if you get caught by hands, if you get caught by Tomahawk's ability, I believe it's Tomahawk, the Native American dude, you get caught by their abilities, bro. It's like done dollar. It's, it's worse. It's like you can't. It was the same broken mechanic as um, NFL Street 
Volume 2, okay, with the, with the Game Breaker Level 2. Uh, I think that's what they call it in the game. I know Game Breaker, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Game Breaker Level 2 because I know uh, NFL Street fixed that, 3 fixed that. NFL Street didn't have it like that. But 2, you know, and if, even NBA Street, like, Game Breaker Level 2, you had to attain to a certain level. But there was enough, um, you know, these kind of things that stall. It's like certain old techings where you get caught in this. You're like, no, what the hell, bro? What is going on? It's like these older games that caught you, you you can't do anything. It's like uh the one of the flaws of one of the few flaws of uh Naruto Ninja Store Revolution is that you would get caught in a special and they could spam it. And that's what happened in, in Street Fighter 4 arcade edition you like bro what in the mess like they make it like well you can be beating someone's ass barely doing any damage they hit you with one special like half your life is gone like that and you just like this make me not even want to play this game, bro. Come on. So, yeah, that, that's the frustration with that game. But we not done yet. Coming in at number five. NBA 2K12. Legends cover. I believe it had Michael Jordan on that cover. Now, I forget if that was the cover with, with uh, Magic and, and Larry Bird as well. I forget if that was the Magic Johnson Larry Bird cover. But I remember the Jordan cover. Bruh, I remember playing it when I was up in college. Dudes would get the bulls just to get the broken-ass character. I've never played a game where the character was so damn broken. Derrick Rose, D. Rose in that game was fucking broken. You couldn't stop him. Bro, he would drop 40 on you in the first quarter. Uh, they wouldn't run an offense. It was D. Rose iso ball. And this man would talk. You couldn't, you couldn't play defense in that game. Okay, one like the older 2Ks, probably not like the 2Ks now. That the defense was gone awful. The the computer uh uh when you didn't switch to your man and play individually, the computer played no kind of sense. You had coaches like wanting to sub you out, sub care players out for no damn reason. And you just it just was terrible. It was a horrible experience. How is it that you can have one team with one man and do that much damage? I'm not talking about high skill players. I'm talking about casuals who picked a team for that one player, bro. This ain't 98. This was 2012. That's not that long ago, y'all. That's seven years. Terrible. Just, just utter garbage. And following that suit was uh <laughs> number four, Madden 12. Same absolute garbage. Now I had to make sure which one it was. 10 had problems. 11 was beautiful if I remember correctly. But 12. Oh, God. Now, fortunately, they have finally, I believe, got away from the specific targeting where you were locked in. That QB vision nonsense that they should have never added to Madden. That was... <sighs> but, dude. You had players out here drop balls. I can have Aaron Rodgers throw to Jordy Nelson and it hit him in the back, bro. He just kept running. You just like, you had literally somehow guys picking off passes just cause. It would throw picks. And I'm like, what? Across the field, no arm strength. And I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. You had times where dudes, you went to tackle, dudes would just blow tackles. You had times where dudes could just somehow make one or two moves and run back touchdowns. You could easily get a skull ran up 70 points in that game and you got 13. Because blown tackles and assignments. And the AI, the computer on that game did not, just like in 2K12, NBA, like I was something about 12 that year that they were just like, Fuck okay, it. We're just going to run up scores. That's what we, we don't believe in defense anymore. Nightmares, horror stories, memories, bad memories. But now we're getting into the top three. Some of y'all may start getting butt hurt. Some of y'all may be, be affected and pissed off at me, but y'all know one that doesn't give a damn. I'm just going to tell it how it is. Coming at number three, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. One of the worst games I have ever played. Ever. 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 On some Chris Jericho Y2J status. One of the worst games I have ever played. It would be higher on this list if the games that, you know, are higher weren't sequels. Okay? 
to what I consider arguably some of the greatest games of all time. Yo, this game was so trash, bro. This game, I don't know what the developers were thinking with this one. It took all the mechanics. It's, like, it's almost like we're not going to pay attention to Modern Warfare. We're not going to pay attention to War at War. We're not going to learn from our mistakes of War, Modern Warfare 2. No, no, no. We're going to make a game all for casuals, take zero skill out of the game, you know, have zero skill implemented into the game pretty much uh, in online play. Because I, I didn't, I did not even try to play the story mode because why would I play the story mode? They gave me no incentive to play the story mode. So you go into online play and you just like, bro, dudes are maining this game. And they have cheat code guns and stuff. This is not fun. I never had a fun round of a match. Ever. And I've never had that on any other, even in Advanced Warfare. Like, some of the CODs I have issues with. I have never had that disappointing of an experience. On an online uh, FPS, uh, strategy game. That is, it was just consistent disappointment. I'm like... The, the mechanics of the shooting was w terribly weird. Um, the run, like, it was COD. Like, it, it was a COD skin on a trash game. Like, it didn't even belong in the franchise. That, that's like the blacklisted game. And, I mean, come on. After that, you had, uh, you know, Black Ops 2, which arguably the, the third best game in the series. So, there there you go with that. So, they, there was a recovery, but I'm like, why is this game... E Who decided this was a good idea to put this game out? This half-finished, half-finished, excuse me, half-developed piece of shit. It was a POS is what it was. Like, what... This is a beer, the big dump, a big pile of feces and manure that y'all decide they want to put out for fans. I don't know of a single person that believes Modern Warfare 3 was a good game. I cannot think of a single one. Even people who, you know, especially if you are a fan of the COD franchise. But even people who, like, not really. Like, it was so casual that even the casuals can enjoy that shit. That's how terrible it was. Who goes back and plays 3? Who goes back and plays 3? I'm pretty sure some of y'all do just to goof around. But that is not a serious game. It is not a serious game. Come on now. Coming in at number two, Tekken 5. And I know I'm going to hurt some Tekken 5 fanboys out here. But here's the reality. Tekken 5 is by far the worst game in the Tekken franchise, while Tekken 4 is the best game in the Tekken franchise. And I, you can come at me as a Tekken fan if you want to. You come at me. 4 actually required you to have skill. 5 was a backstep in everything. All right? Graphics weren't better than 4. The, the characters, were they nerf characters, certain characters, and made certain characters OP. The character, there was delayed reaction, and again, maybe in later versions of the game, you didn't have this, but I played this on the PS2, and it was trash, bro. It was terrible. It was horrible. It was like, bro, everything I learned on how to fight on Tekken from 4 and even previous games didn't apply to 5, and I've gone back and played 5 in arcade, well, in arcade as well. And game works and stuff. It's still as trash as I remember it. It ain't changed. It's garbage. It's garbage. Six massacres it. Four without question. Three. Like, bro, even the first two Tekkens were better than five, bro. It was the, the, the mechanics, the fight. It was bad, man. Story mode wise, it was bad. It, it just, like, I'm not saying it had a trash overall story. That's not what I'm saying, because Tekken has a great story overall, but it was just like, it's just like, what are you doing? It's not good. I forever, it, it for me, is personally, well, no, it, it is second personally disappointing game because of number one, but it, it, it's right up there with just, just outright one of the most, one of the most disexper disappointing experiences in life. And again, I'm not biased. I've tried to go back and play Tekken 5 multiple times. You know, I'll, I'll do different things. Tekken Tag. Take a tag's better, bro. League's better. With lesser graphics. But better fighting. Just. I don't understand how games can be sequels and, and you can have a franchise and then you just you just do this. But it doesn't take the cake for number one, because the number one spot 
Y'all should know what it is if y'all really know gaming like that. But I was going to tell you. COD, Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 had the potential to be the greatest game of all time. Potential, really. The way it was coming out, you saw the cinematic production with the spate. you like, oh my god. And if you were in that time period, and you played Modern Warfare, you played World at War. Now, some have Modern Warfare as the best. I have it number two, so a close second to World at War, but I ain't even mad if people say Modern Warfare. And you will come in and you like, this going to be the game changer. This going to be the game changer, ladies and gentlemen. This is that shit. But I bring me to tears every time I think about how much of a train wreck this game was. They tried. That's all I'll say to this game is they tried. Okay. This game, why it was such a big train wreck? First of all, the story mode. Why didn't y'all follow the similar formula to World at War? Well, of course, it's Infinity rather than Treyarch. Why, I mean, Treyarch produces better games by and large. That's just what they do. That's just what they do, apparently. But why don't you follow more or less storyline like that? No, 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 no. We're we're gonna, you know, we're gonna jump and then we're gonna, uh, you know, you know, just put you in missions and yeah. When it comes to the Black Ops series, which is Treyarch, uh, the missions made sense. Just like in World at War, the missions made sense. But anyways, you know, whatever it is, you follow this, whatever, and you just like you, you're like, okay, I'm just going through these missions, okay. I don't, wait, where's the payoff? But, okay. Then you go into online play. Was it Quagmire or whatever? Quar no, it's Quarry. Quarry is the worst map in the history of COD. Worst map. It was so disorienting. It, it was terrible. So that brought down the value. But, you know, you, you had, see, in other games, and this is where I'll, I'll give, even, even in Modern Warfare 3, as bad as and terrible as it was, you could learn other maps. Like, in, in, when it came to Modern Warfare 2, you had to know the maps. Like, you couldn't just pick up and learn. Like, almost every other COD game, I could just figure out the maps, right? And that is not the case in Modern Warfare 2 for the most part. The guns. Let's talk about the guns. Uh, let's talk about the fact of, you know, Modern War, uh, Black Ops, you know, especially Black Ops 2 did it right. They did what Modern Warfare 2 was supposed to do with the guns and, and upgrades. You know, without... You know, going too in depth about all the issues of Modern Warfare 2. Here's the thing, bro. I remember playing with a group of friends, right? And we were on one guy's system. And he's like, you had guys complaining, if I had my guns, if I had, if you were really that good. And that's what World at War taught me. And I was like, this was weird to me. This was strange. I'm like, I'm used to you having to make do with what you got. And you were either beast or you weren't beast. You had some add ons in, in Modern Warfare, right? You had some add ons in, uh, um, War that war, but you didn't have all this extra with you know all these customized guns. You know, I was used to the struggle. Yeah, it was a struggle, but I was used to that. Plus, I hadn't got that far at the time in Modern Warfare too. So I had this, and it you know took down experience. You know, experience. Oh, I'd be beating you better if I had my guns. If I had my guns, shut the fuck up and play the game. Either you a beast or you not, son. You either you either a legend or you're not. And so that, that, you know, that to me was the beginning of Casualville when it came to, you know, uh, the infestation of COD. It was Modern Warfare 2. You did not have the Casualville when it came to World at War, when it came to Modern Warfare. You actually had to have skill. You didn't have casuals in uh, really, especially Black Ops 2. Black Ops, mm, you know, some like the game, some were like, uh, but you did not have the Casualville like you had. With, with the, you know, Modern Warfare 2 and, of course, 3. And really, the only COD fans, well, some of them bought Advanced Warfare. But anyways, unexpected wonder, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on this video. What are some of the most disappointing games for you? Uh, I would love to hear what y'all have to say because, man, oh, man, were there some bad ones. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace.